asteroids. Asteroids. Yes, asteroids. Scary, irregularly shaped solar system bodies composed of rock and metal. Millions of them. They can be as small as a grain of sand or up to 600 miles wide. So as there's millions of these nuisances floating around in outer space, how comes there's just this one that's causing all this kerfuffle? One that everyone's talking about. His name is Apophis and it's gonna hit the Earth. Well, maybe. So, um, what's Apophis? Discovered by Roy, David, and Fabrizio on June 19, 2004, Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid causing concern as there is a small possibility of an impact with Earth on April 13th, 2036. Oh my god, girl, we're all gonna die! No, wait, don't freak out yet, just listen to me. Apophis is approximately 300 meters wide, so to give you guys a sense of scale, the Eiffel Tower in Paris is 324 meters tall. So, you know, that's pretty damn huge. Originally known as 2004 MN4, Apophis got its official name on July 19, 2005. Apophis being the Greek name of the ancient Egyptian enemy of Apep, the Uncreator. A serpent that dwells in the eternal darkness of the underworld. Whoa, girl! That's some scary sh**! So is it gonna hit us, or what? Well, it did cause a media frenzy in December 2004 when the original NASA report stated an impact chance of 1 in 300 in 2029. 1 in 300? That's not so bad, right? I suppose. But later that same day, it was changed to 1 in 62. Shit. Then, 1 in 42. Shit. Then it went up to 1 in 45. Okay, we're going back up, we're going back up. Then, 1 in 37. Shit. But then, after a couple of days and further observation, it was declared no threat for an impact in 2029. Thank the Lord Jesus! However, a possibility remains that in its 2029 close approach with Earth, Apophis will pass through a gravitational keyhole. A gravitational what hole? A small region of space that could alter the course of a passing asteroid due to Earth's gravity, setting the stage for a collision with Earth on Apophis' next orbital pass on April 13th, 2036. Mm-hmm. Girl, you better tell me whether it's gonna hit us or not. Well, the possibility remains slim. In August 2006, it was reported a 1 in 45,000 chance of impact. Then, as of October 7th, 2009, it was lowered to 1 in 250,000 chance of impact. And this resulted in Apophis being lowered to zero on the Torino scale. A Torino scale? Willis, what are you talking about? A Torino scale is a scale from 1 to 10, used to measure the impact hazard of near-Earth object. Neos, such as asteroids. Level 1 would be a routine discovery where a near-Earth pass is predicted but poses no unusual level of danger. But level 10, being a certain collision capable of causing global climatic catastrophe that may threaten the future of civilization as we know it. <gasps> An event like this occurs on average once per 100,000 years, so it's possible. I know, girl, but you told me it was lowered to zero, so we're told it's gonna be okay, right? True, but Apophis is the first Neo to break level 1 on the scale. First listed as a record-breaking 2 on the Torino scale, it was then later promoted to level 4, where it peaked. So, you know, just for giggles. <laughs> what would happen if it hit us? Okay, well, um, due to its size, if a collision was certified, um, certain, then the highest that it could peak on the scale would be a level 9. Meaning that a land impact would cause unprecedented regional devastation. And an ocean impact, well, an ocean impact would cause major, and I mean major, tsunamis in all directions. Apophis would release approximately 510 megatons of energy. So just as a comparison, the object that carved out the media crater in Arizona released a mere 3 to 10 megatons. What they gonna do if this b comes for us? Well, a number of proposals for deflecting Apophis have been described, such as a gravitational tractor, which would be a spacecraft which deflects another object in space without physically touching it. Or there's the kinetic impact, which is essentially hurtling a large object, such as a spacecraft, at the asteroid to move it off its course. And also, nuclear weapons. You talking about blowing the bitch up? Basically, yes. Mm-hmm. We ever gonna see it? On April 13th, 2029, Apophis will approach Earth at a distance no closer than 18,300 miles. And that would be close enough to be seen by the naked eye. Oh my god, girl, I'm gonna get my binoculars! 
So uh, yeah, that's it you guys. That's Apophis. Kind of scary, right? But fascinating. And prize goes to the first person who can predict the date of a movie that will be made about this. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, let me know and I'll keep it going. And also, are you fascinated by end of world scenarios? Hit me up if you know of any more. Next time, you guys, I'll see you later. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.